After a successful World Cup that we had, we, we had a couple of camps that we, we got the girls together. And we on the verge now of a very big series against India at home. So we got uh, players uh, that we felt that yeah, with the next two, two years, two to three years, we had a plan that we need to look at players, especially with the World Cups coming. We have two TT new World Cups we need to take on and plus uh, the IWC challenge. For us, we, we had to sit down first as, as a management and a debrief and see where we need to improve, what is it that we achieved and what we need to, uh, to work on. And uh, one of the things that, that stood out for us is the depth that we need to start working on with the experienced players that we have. So hence, we assembled 26 players in the country, including some of the national players, to make sure we prepare for the uh, upcoming series, as well as to look at where we are as a country as far as depth is concerned how much work we need to put in to make sure we prepare, to make sure that we can sustain the team going forward. Yeah, you know, it's great to be back. Uh, good to see the girls again and to get back into the South African setup. Big Bash was awesome. Uh, learned a lot, made a um, lot of new memories and experiences, and it was just an overall great experience and glad to develop my game as a cricketer and learn more about myself as a person. Yeah, it is good to be back. We've had last year, I mean, we had a lot of camps. We even have National Academy camp. We had the last camp in, uh, in December. Now we're back, we back at it again. I've, I've literally missed cricket. Yeah. So yeah, December time is just boring because there's no cricket at such and so coming back showing off my skills again and showing what I've been preparing ever since I've been home it, it's, it really feels good it's been great um, it's good to be back after the holidays yeah. and um, yeah a lot of girls with a lot of talent displaying their ability so I think it's good competition for everyone for us is to see how, how the youngsters go and then to, for, for them to learn from uh, the national players also and understand where they fit in the system what is required to be able to make it at, uh, at this level and I think the way they went about it and how the senior players also went and then shared ideas with players what is it that they were to work on we also have the select national selectors here to be able to speak to the squad to see um, to let them know that in the next two to three years what the plans are where we're looking to go as women's cricket in the country yeah. and what is the levels that we need to reach. We realise that as far as the rankings and we as a team, we need to start improving and make sure that we not just compete and mm -hmm. see how we can bring silverware back into the country. They're very encouraging. I mean, they're very supportive. They, 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 they try to build each and every one of us. And to when you actually need something to talk about in terms of the game, they are there to actually help you out. So, I mean, they show they, they actually build us, not, not they, and they actually motiv motivate us more than I thought they would, because they actually <laughs> see the players. But yeah, I mean, they groom us and they want us to be at their level that they're at. Yeah. It's great to see some new faces around camp. Um, it's good to have the new girls involved in the setup and have them play um, this level of cricket. Um, a lot of them might not have played here before, so it's really great to see how they adapt to it and how quickly they fit in and everything. Everyone's really awesome. It's great to have them here. Um, the new faces there bring a great vibe to the team, and we've just had a really good week of prep so far, and we're excited. National team, we, we, we're happy with the direction they're going. As far as the domestic, we realize there's a lot of work that needs to be done. We, we need to make sure that uh, the message that we, we, we preach at the, and on top, it goes down to, to grassroots levels and a lot of coaches at the moment. We brought in some of the best coaches that we have in the country also to make sure that it's a uniform conversation going around the country with the camps also coming up, regional camps around the country to make sure that we take the message now to the provinces, work closely with the coaches because they're the ones that there that can make uh, help us and make sure that we can sustain the system. Yeah, definitely much higher standards and yeah. Yeah, definitely a big step up from provincial. High intensity from everyone, yeah. give it the all and like I said, all of the girls here really has a lot of talent and you have to do something different to fit in to the yeah. team. Yeah. Preparation has been very good, we're on par with that and with the players playing in Australia also played a lot of cricket mm -hmm. which is good for us so with, with a quiet period that we had as far as competitive cricket that we've created games are amongst the squad, uh, play, playing against provincial teams to make sure that they play uh, when they, by the time the series start, we have what we have, they have enough uh, overs on the belt, better said enough time in the middle to make sure that we're ready. Uh, we don't doubt that uh, although it is a team that played in the World Cup final, we there's a lot of history between the two teams. We know that they're going to pose a very dangerous mm -hmm. and tough challenge for us, but we'll be ready for them.